As humanity advances, technologies that were once completely unimaginable become our reality. For example, this is a tiny computer that can be implanted in the neck of a stroke victim and used to stimulate their brain to rewire neurons to relearn how to raise an arm or even walk. With so many breakthroughs in science, it can be difficult to keep track of where humanity is headed, much less do anything about it. I'm Brad, a freshman here at the University of Texas at Dallas, here to explain one new technology that you definitely want to know about, CRISPR gene editing. Why should you care about editing the human genome? Well, remember those genes mom and dad gave you? We can change those now. How is it even possible to change our own genome? It's all thanks to CRISPR. CRISPR is a technology that was originally discovered in bacteria as a defense mechanism against viruses. When viruses infect bacteria, they start by injecting their viral genome. Each time a new virus attacks, the bacteria stores a small section of its viral genome in an area of clustered, regularly interspaced, short palindromic repeats. What a mouthful. Let's just call it CRISPR. The next time that same virus tries to infect the bacteria, the stored section recognizes the viral DNA and recruits Cas9 or CRISPR-associated protein 9 to cut the DNA in half to disable it. So all this is great for bacteria, but how is a defense mechanism that protects our natural enemy beneficial to us humans? The secret to that lies in CRISPR's ability to cut any piece of DNA. Think of your DNA like a recipe book. Your parents gave you their DNA, a set of recipes that make all of the proteins in your body, where each recipe is called a gene. When your DNA gets cut in half, say a ray of sunlight hits you just right, you need to repair it. This recipe book can show us how the repair is done. Say that I have a recipe for chicken noodle soup that gets cut. How do I replace the missing section? Well, in your cells, you have a backup of your entire genome. I happen to have a second copy of my mom's recipe book right here. We'll flip through the pages until we find the match. Now, I can make a copy of this backup page and paste it into the original. And finally, here's our copy. We just paste it in, and we're done. But wait, there's more. I can also trick this process into changing the original recipe. If I would rather add, say, Lucky Charms over noodles, I can paste that in instead. As long as the top and bottom of my copy match the original section, the cell won't know the difference. This is exactly what CRISPR enables scientists to do to your genes. Scientists can program CRISPR to recognize and cut any part of your genome and change it to anything they want. Cut, copy, paste. It's that simple. So what happens when a scientist pastes in a new gene? And why should it matter to you? As an example, we could delete the DNA recipe for keratin protein in your hair and replace that with the green fluorescent protein found in glowing jellyfish. Just cut your human gene, copy the jellyfish gene, and paste it in and... Ta-da! Glowing human cells. Instead of just making human cells glow green for fun, scientists are using CRISPR to cure diseases. At UT Dallas, we are using CRISPR to engineer cells to find dysfunctional proteins in the brain and bloodstream and destroy those. We are testing this technology to target the antibodies found in multiple sclerosis and seasonal allergies and even destroy the amyloid proteins found in Alzheimer's disease. The point is, as scientists continue to develop such innovations, the future is going to be an exciting place. In the case of CRISPR, we will literally rewrite what it means to be human in the 21st century. We're going to be exposed to a lot of these new technologies, whether we want to or not. But if you take a look at what's happening with CRISPR gene editing, you might just want to learn a little bit more yourself. I'm Brad. Thank you for watching. And remember, Stay human out there, no matter who we become.